I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you test paper of my student, Darshan. Thanks to him for sharing his test paper with all of you on YouTube. So here are a couple of questions from the test paper. You can pause the video, copy them, and practice for your own test. First question is to find the derivative and evaluate at x equals to 1. The second one is determine the derivative of the function where you may apply the quotient rule. And then we have a very interesting question, question number 3, which is you are given a function of function and some values and some derivatives. You need to find derivative of function of function at 3. And then last question on this page is find the point on the graph f of x equals to x cubed minus 3x squared where the tangent line is horizontal. That is the slope should be zero right so i hope you've copied these questions let's move on to the next page so the next page here has a few more questions these are thinking questions find equations of tangent to the curve y equals to 3x square minus 7x plus 5 that is perpendicular to x plus 5y minus 10 equals to zero and second question on this page is how many tangent lines to the curve y equals to x divided by x plus 1 pass through the point 1, 2. At which point do these tangents touch the curve, right? So that's the question which we are going to discuss in this particular video. Here are a few more which you can copy first. What is the x-intercept for the function where the function is given to you as 1 over x squared minus 4x and then we have an application question which you can copy. And uh, on the last page, uh, we have a few more. So it's a very balanced paper which says, communication question, show that there are no tangents to the curve y equals to 2x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 3 with negative slope. What can be concluded about the graph? And the last question here is, using first principle, predict a rule that could be used to determine the derivative of reciprocal functions where y equals to 1 over g of x, g of x is not equal to 0. Provide an example to verify your answer. 